so be it. And thus, we now control Paderborn. And we have inherited a couple of counts, apparently. But we definitely want to give these away. So, Paderborn is a temple holding, which probably wants to go to somebody. Like David, my Dutch antiquarian, because he has really good learning. And then Voldek is a fighting place, so you can go to one of my knights. Huzzah! Anunda, sounds good. And then Munster is also another holy site, so we're going to give that to Christoph. Like so. Okay, so we gained a bunch more vassals, which is great. And then we have the Prince Bishop, the 89-year-old Prince Bishop. I don't think he's going to stick around for much longer. The malnourished 89-year-old. And who is next in line? Nobody. Male preference theocratic law. So does that mean it will fall to an also true after that? I hope so. Anyway, we can now disband our armies, send them home. To the implacable King Mordred Buff more time, I think Tora would serve well as a concubine. That's not Tora. That's Tora. Uh pass. She's not old enough. <laughs> I only take like 60 year olds as concubines apparently. Okay, so that's that done. That's now two holy sites taken. Yeah, that's true. May as well see if he wants to convert. He's not religious. Might accept. See the wisdom in your faith, but I hope you understand the long winding road it is from the darkness into the light. Uh, I don't like this. I become... Yeah, you know what? You can have a weak hook on me. Okay, and then he has become Godai Albrecht. It is an interesting France, isn't it? I'm very curious to see what's going to happen to this, and also to this, because that's a bit of a liability. Dutch Norse did this just to take the Polders tradition to Western Ireland's wetlands. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Meanwhile, we have got a bunch of other things I need to get through here. Uh, hype Train, we succeeded on getting level 2. Huzzah. Agent Moose, thank you very much for the follow. Sharks Boy, thank you for the follow. Mr. Eggs and Bacon, thank you very much for the two-month primary subscription. Very much appreciate that. Uh, Wild Dog, thank you for the 36-month, three-year resubscription. Look at how three years already, how time flies. I know, crazy. And congrats on earning those pink wings. Meanwhile, Lontolol. I uh, read that one already. That was the Yal Hala. What do Vikings play when they're on a long journey? Cards. <laughs> they always have a deck. <laughs> okay, that was good. What holy sites do we own? We own um, Trondheim and also Paderborn. So we need just one more. It's a choice between Jorvik, which looks like it could do with a bit of help. Or Uppsala. And I think right now I kind of fancy going after Jorvik. Oh man, you have no troops. I'm 100% going to go for Jorvik. Island West Icelandic Vassalization War. That's... You're an ally. That's not for you. Okay, so we... Are going to conquer a duchy. It has to be your pick. This is going to cost me piety, which is bloody annoying. Um, I 
should probably switch to a learning lifestyle. Maybe should have done this a bit earlier. Medicine focus, get that health going. Oh, but I can also do like great blots and runestones and stuff. Uh, while we're at peace, oh, we have a thing to do. Finger bones of a king. A peddler with a cloak of dozens of baubles and knickknacks sewn into it rattles up to me. All of the realm knows you are addled with ravenous desires with, which bear the force of the trebuchet launched cataphract. I have an artifact which shall lighten your burden. She reveals a chastity belt adorned with rusty spikes. Um. Chastity belt artifact. I'm curious. I'll try anything at this point. Probably not going to wear it, but what? <laughs> Oh, I stole some of their stuff as well. Sweet. Chastity belt. Fertility minus 100. Alright. And we have the Franconian flexible lamellar armor. Friendly casualties minus 2% prestige plus 0.1 and prowess plus 2. Compared to my current armor, which is the same, except that this gives me injury resistance, which I think is better. Considering... How I fight. And then Duke Farabelt's Warhammer, which is... It's good for enemy fatal casualties. So Farabelt's Warhammer is good if we're playing purely as a commander. So because I like fighting my own battles, the Banhammer is great. But Duke Farabelt's Warhammer is good if we were just playing as a commander. Okay. How do I acknowledge that I've seen these without actually equipping them? I guess I have to. Just switch back every time. Okay. And I could sponsor someone, but right now, I kind of want to save a bit of money. And then I think we go for Jorvik. Ah, before we do that, though, let's do the great blot. Do we have anyone that we can... Yes. Execute. I thought you are quite good at fighting. not a zealot. You're not as good. Except you have decent traits. Um, can I recruit you? Oh, I can. Prince Volkmar of East Francia. I could get this guy a claim on the throne. You're a useful one to have. And then Count Eckelhard. I think you are going to get murdered. I'm sorry, because you're actually quite good. How are the elections going, by the way? Von the Beck's going in, Von the Beck's going in. Okay, we're good. And I can still create a couple of duchies. And I can use up the Duchy of Westphalia, uh, Westphalia, which I probably should do. Although, I don't want to spend the money right now, so no. Alright, I think I'm going to need to pull the trigger here. We're going for Jorvik. Alright. It's war time. And that means it's safety helm time. Oh, so I don't think I'm going to need this one quite so much here. So who am I actually up against? Because you did have allies. Though they have not yet joined the war. All right. Raise the armies. War. We're going to war. Yeah, my army's getting big. Off we go. Actually, I should probably take East Riding first. Let's go there. Duke Dagger converted from Norse to Dutch. Okay. Wessex still hasn't united England under a single banner. Nope. Well, they're getting stronger and stronger. 6,000 troops now. 
Oh, there's your Vex army. Uh, fighting them in the hills isn't going to be as good as I would have liked. But I'll still fight them there. Alright, so who are you allied to? Oh, Iceland. Yeah, and it's Iceland that has the majority of that army. Right, let's go and take your capital first. Now, Iceland's fighting their own war, so I'm not expecting them to get busy here. Safe in Amsterdam with all of his needs provided for, my son and heir Willem von der Beck has shown little proclivity to do anything, but spent days at the tavern drowning an endless supply of wine. Foreign envoys have started to take note of his behaviour, and I can't help but wonder if the rumours are being whispered about him in distant courts. This behaviour is unacceptable. He must be punished, humiliated even. He just needs some responsibility, something important to look after. We give him the county of Brugge. And this will also increase his stewardship. Yeah, you know what? This is fine. Give him Brugge. It's fine. He's my heir, so he's going to take it. Oh, but you can't be caught tutor if you... Hmm, interesting. Oh, I know I lost my antiquarian. Ah! Caught tutor. We don't have anyone that's amazingly good at this. Neuter. Right, you're Nubiast's husband. You're a very good diplomat. Just honest and gregarious. You have bloody brilliant traits. You know what? Yes. How do I... And how are we doing for... Holy orders. Champions. <laughs> Um, well, we're fine. Our worst serving champion right now is an 11 prowess. Our best is a whopping 39. This guy could probably actually beat me. How are you that good? Cautious leader, berserker, brilliant strategist, wrathful and brave. Count Anundur of Waldeck. Yeah, he's good. He's very good. And we're the same. We are equals. He lives for fighting. Yes, he does. Uh, we took Thera. Oh no, he's not the heir. It's just a valuable hostage, so we want to keep him around because he's going to be giving me a bunch of... War score? Is that because of him or because of territory? Nope, it's because of prisoners. So we don't want to ransom him. I was shocked when I caught imaginary exponent trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Count Dan. She blamed a game another child had invented, but I could tell she was lying. So she becomes deceitful, or we can thrash some honesty into her. Or some humility. Um, that would send me critical, so I think I'm just going to... Say no. Your bitch just get West riding back. They had it all along. An unworthy challenge. At first I thought the simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. Although Haston seemed no threat at first, it quickly became clear he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. Disarming him suddenly became a life matter of life and death. 23 prowess. Wrathful brave? I could use people like you. I mean, I can use people like you! Although that does put me at 99. We really need to go hunting and raiding. Probably in that order. That is a big army. Hello, Wessex. Xanthos, the sunny day. As I make my way to the stable, I am greeted by the happy nays of Xanthos. She seems eager to stretch her legs. Uh, day is too fine to not be appreciated properly. This hopefully will be the end of the war. It is good. Enforce. And now I'm fighting against Wessex. 
Thankfully, his armies are split. But before we do that, before we do that, before we do that, I can't do that because I'm at war, right? No, I can do it. Um, right, let's save so I don't mess this up because I want to make sure I get this done before, you know, we die. Or do we want to do this when I'm at peace and I can think about this a bit more? Yeah, my health is starting to ail. We need to get this done now. Reform. So, first of all... No! I can't afford it! Well, hopefully, if I win this holy war, quickly... Which I will, because Alfred has not taken the field here. And I am thrashing his armies. Most royally. And there we are. So we do get some devotion for this. I need to get 5,400. I lost 400 men. They lost 1,400. And I really would like to just sit back and defend this, but I'm not convinced that I really can. And I need to give your Vic to somebody else, preferably one of my other fighters. This can go to Sterla. Just so I'm not over my limit. Actually, I'm under... Right, because I gave Brooker away. And my limit's now gone up to seven. Does that mean that you can now assist me? Yes, you can. Excellent. My other stats have gone up. Ha <laughs> ha! Also, I gained another Marshall perk. Excellent! Mercenaries cost 30% less. Cool. Absolute control. Absolute control is a special state of control enabled by the absolute control perk, denoting the ruler has an iron grip over the population. Whenever control is at 100, it will instead display as absolute and give bonuses to taxes and levies. Interesting. Need piety, not devotion. You're right. Uh... Do I have a creator code for Warhammer 3? Uh, I will, probably in a day or so. Uh, Smitherman. I did something I need to set up tonight. Because I have been invited to, to, to get one. I just haven't done the paperwork yet. I can't do a block while I'm at war, I think. We could also do a pilgrimage, but... Uh, you know what? I'm going to switch to medicine focus. I'm going to try and keep myself alive. Runestone is um, prestige, not piety. Greetings, my perceptive liege. I've arrived in Amsterdam to pay homage to you, glorious king, as a sign of my loyalty. Compassion of Paragon. I think that's fine. Welcome. I wait patiently at the throne for the arrival of Earl Victus, who has, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the realm. At last I bid the Earl to rise, confirming my satisfaction and Victus' rights to the lands he overrules in my stead. Yeah. Served me well. You're Norse. You're also true. You're fine. And I've hit level 4 grandeur again. Sweet. I can vassalize y'all Don. For free. Done. Okay, so we've just grown. We're actually taking more and more of England. So what my plan here is is I'm probably, once we've done this war, I'm going to split um, this part of the realm probably to Requin. And then I'll give this to one of the other lords and I'll just give them independence. Because I have no intention of controlling those territories permanently. I just want to make sure that we convert. Otherwise, we have the territories. We just need to lead a very pious life.
Oh, here they come again. Fighting in the hills. I don't want to fight you in the hills. I want to fight you in the plains. Oh, you're coming for me? Uh, let's see if I can get you to cross this river. Once you're locked. Wetlands. I have no bonuses to wetlands. Oh, no, you're going to come for me. Okay. I just need this war to end, so I just need you to attack me. I will stand here until you attack me. Come at me, bro. Okay, this is against Alfred. How old are you now? 64. We're the same age. We know that war. Count Steerkar approaches me, mentioning our shared interest in military matters and wanting to exchange ideas. He seems to be well read on all topics concerning strategy and tactics. At last! Interesting conversation. You just can't beat me. Will not accept. Only just, though. go and sail down there and start sieging his stuff down. That 800 gold does look really nice, but I can't afford to wait around. It's not me. It's me. Oh, I'm fine again. Okay. So do I want to go sailing down to Winchester? No, I think I basically have to stay up here and just defend. Core grandeur decreased. That's fine. 600 against 1,200. Champions killing almost 600 between them. I mean, his three champions got 140. That's not bad. Oh, they also have a level 39 prowess. Ouch. The old Nooper is raiding me. And it's winter time. Come on, attack me during the winter. You know you want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Come on, quickly now, before the snows fade. Yep, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Alfred, you fool. You might be the better commander now. But in the winter, I am king. We captured Luthbert, one of their mercenary captains. We lost 500, they lost 1,300. Almost 700 kills, and they've, they've brought in more champions this time, though we did kill one of them. Something happened to Requiem. Oh, they're still here. So you still got 4,000 troops. Oh, because you've hired uh, mercenaries now. So at this point, you probably would accept a white piece. But no, I think I can win this fully. I think I'm going to beat you one more time and then I'm going to attack Winchester. Xanthos, the sick mare. I'm not paying for a horse. Whatever happens is the will of Odin. The strong and enduring warhorse has died. I never, I no longer get my stress reduction. 
My prisoner, Reed Eightbold, has escaped. Right, speaking of which, let's go and ransom those who can be ransomed. Newbert, are you any good? You are br just and wrathful. Unyielding defender. Ragen Hilda Celia's daughter. You're pretty good at fighting and you're also intelligent. Wrathful, bossy, and fickle. You're 11. You have a bright future ahead of you. Hebert of Salisbury. 24 intrigue. Dishonorable Ravener. I do not trust you. No, wait, I don't want to. Shoot, I just freed some of the uh, Christians, didn't I? We're keeping you. I need to keep them for the blots. I can't just be freeing people now. Is there a way of raising piety? Oh wait, you're not converting. You should be. Holland is converted. Yay. And do we still need to increase control? Yes, badly. And you are still working on promoting cultural acceptance. How is that looking now, by the way? 15%. And here they come again. 5,000 of them this time. Unur has given birth to another son. Okay, so this is going to be Silverose. I'd love to call you Duke Silverose, but that's a title you have to earn. I'm so glad that they attack in just little bits and pieces. It, it really makes these fights a lot easier. Oh, and then there are four champions coming in last of all. <laughs> See if I can catch them. How was that fight? 1,200 for 500. I'm quick, but I'm not that quick. Alright, so I'm on the coast. Let's head out to sea and go and attack Winchester. We're at 68% now. 